It's a very interesting time in history. There's a lot of things going on that are driving people to experiment and to explore and hunger for something different. The old system isn't working, not only economically, ecologically, but in human terms. People feel that in their bones. The challenge is to kind of figure out how to switch out the engines on the plane while we're keeping the plane in the air. This isn't touchy-feely stuff. This is about actually getting the world to work. What if we were able to really build the foundations of a cooperative world? What would it look like? You work collaboratively with people, and you share the revenue according to everyone's contribution. It's one member, one vote, so it doesn't matter how much of the company you own, you have a stake in the outcome. Collaboration is ultimately more sustainable than competition. Lumio is a simple technology that enables people to come to a queer, shared understanding. It's not just actually the technology, it's the types of collaborative structures that technology enables. When diverse perspectives can genuinely feed into a collaborative process, it can be Totally amazing, like transformative for people. We've got to go beyond just profit making, trying to build a different sense of community. We don't want to have a huge pollution spewing kind of uh, operation. We want to have a community brewery. We can bring in new workers who have the same values that we do because they know they're part of kind of a larger movement. This is how real systems in the real world work. The project we started for children with cystic fibrosis. It's really about making therapy fun. People actually come to this who really crave what community can bring. A lot of people on the east side don't think that they're worth the puddle that they're stepping in. I battle with addiction, and uh, it didn't matter to them. I want them to come to work because they're working for themselves to feel that sense of ownership. It's not very often like that you get to care and nurture for something. Soul food saved my life. So what is real wealth? It's not money. Fresh air to breathe, family, community is real wealth. It's not a chore to get there. You don't have to have a really unenjoyable life in service to this cause. It's got to be fun, right? So let's build the enterprise of the future. We are laying the groundwork for a very moving period of history. Potentially, big things can happen. Everything is converging towards a more collaborative economy, for sure. And when you free people economically, they're free. We're taking over, guys. <laughs>